My name is Leo Connors, and welcome to The Ring and all other sports. Dave, my co-host over here, thought I didn't do a show this year yet, but I have. I have. I have. I've done one. Osiris is still upset that you didn't show up. Dave. Yes, and yeah. Dave he obviously matter. filled in for me a week, a couple weeks ago. And again, my co-host Dave Fournier, my guest, Mark Moment, also no, formerly known as Lemonhead, or also known as Lemonhead. Yeah. That's how I Back in the day. Yeah. Good to see you. Thank no. you for coming on, man. Thanks for What's having up, me. Dave? Appreciate What's up, Leo? It. How you doing, Dave. man? Lemonhead. Good to see you. Nice. All right, listen, this because there's a lot to talk about. There really is. I know yeah. you don't think there is, but there I is. I don't. There yeah, is. I never think there is. Really yeah. You yeah. Think you can talk exactly. I did. That's it. I needed to get him. I told him, don't worry about it. I needed him or Osiris, so. Wedge grow up. Uh, Burlington, Massachusetts, and Wilmington, Massachusetts. Okay. That's where I'm from. When did you first see pro wrestling? <sighs> Had to have been like 89, 88, 89. And how old were you? Probably three, four. Wow. Yeah, that's like the first memories wow. I have. No kidding. Yeah. yeah. I that's remember wild. running around in a Sears before it was Ames and trying to get the steel cage, the LJN one, but my mom didn't buy it, so... Ah, bummer. Yeah, that's All right. it. So w were your friends and family into it too? My cousin Joseph was into it a little bit. He'd watch it once in a while. I remember we both got the uh, Game Boy Superstars game for Easter the same year, but he was all, he's like 15 years older than me. Right. So it's a lot of age gap there. Uh, my uncles would watch it. My uncle had a illegal cable box at the time. So nice. He, he'd let me come over and watch the pay-per-views if I bought him a bag of Mexican hats. So... Bag of Mexican hats? The candy. Oh, oh, I remember. Yeah, the candy. <laughs> like, oh, Did you think I was buying a Mexican him? hat? Yes, got I'm sombreros? thinking you're bringing a bunch of sombreros over his house. <laughs> <laughs> nah. No. No. I'm like, what, they like a, a taco bell? Yeah, something? no, they're I, like juju beads or yeah, whatever. They, I got you, you. You know what I mean. I do now. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't at first. Right. Who were some of your favorite wrestlers at the, you know, when you first started watching? Hulk Hogan. Yeah. Without yeah. a doubt. No doubt. Yeah, I hear you. Yeah. Everybody in that. Exactly. That era, it's Hulk Hogan and, you know. All right. When did you know wrestling was something you wanted to do, try, you know what I mean, or whatever you wanted to do? Yeah. I honestly never thought about actually doing it until my dad talked to D.C. Dillinger. They kind of, like, my dad worked at a radiator place, and D.C. worked at another one that were the same name. Yeah. And we'd, he'd, like, have to drive to D.C.'s and like, oh, pick okay. up radiators yeah, and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And DC found out that I liked wrestling, so he'd always tell me the SmackDown stuff and stuff like that. Then he finally said, you know, why don't you send him to school for it? And that's when I thought about it, like when I was nice. like 15. Nice. That's yep. awesome. Yep. Great to hear that Blake, great DC does. Absolutely. Yeah. What made you choose the, I don't know if you will get no, it. Before, no, go ahead. What made you choose the Chaotic Training Center now from the New England Pro Wrestling Academy? I went to Kowalski's and seen DC, watched the training, and... Uh, then they had a show in Revere, I, I think it's Revere, where they had the Harley Davidson. Uh, Everett, yeah. Everett, okay, it was Everett. And I didn't actually get to watch the show because my dad had to go work, but I went to go get a flyer from Mike Jazz, actually, and see if there's any more shows coming up, and it was one for the school, and it was right near a Chinese buffet that we liked, so my dad was like, well, we can go to the Chinese buffet, and we can go check this out. Yeah. And I don't know what it was. I think like they seemed to really care about schooling because I was young, Stuff like that, and I walked out. I walked in thinking I wasn't going. I right. walked out, and I was like, "This, this is where I wanted to go." Everybody was great. Nice. I met, you know, Mike, Jim, uh, Boston Brawler was there right. at that time. All the guys were working out, so you seen like Louis Ortiz and you know Ronnie Delicious are there. So it was cool. Then that's Pete, awesome. Pete Malloy was there, so that kind of was cool to me to think, okay, right. there's somebody and, that's somewhat my age, my right, size. Right. Yeah. yeah, no doubt. All right, um. Well, tell uh, who else. Who else was in your class? You, you said you just said a couple names, yeah, but uh, when I got there, like John Walters was already there, Vince Vicalo, nice. Arch Kincaid, Aaron Stevens, Mike Studd. Got I got there, then Billy Kryptonite came along. Yeah, Brian Malonis came along. Mighty Minnie came along. Andre Lyons, nice. Psycho. So I got to work with those guys. Right. Got to work with guys like Brian Buffet too. Those were a little scary because he was bigger, and I was. Big dude. He was, and he was always great with me. Never hurt me. Right. But I always got psyched out because how big he was coming at me. Yeah. And I'd always like lean into him, and he's right. like, "Can't do that," you know. So was he helped me a lot. Todd was there too, right? Todd came along later. Yeah. Yeah, he came oh, along. Ah, uh, Sinclair. 
or Hanson. No, Hanson. Hanson, yeah, he came along later. Yeah, yeah. A little bit later, a couple, maybe two years later, a year and a half later, yes. I want to say. Yeah, I think it was probably a couple years after. Yeah. He was, he was with the train with Jason before that. Exactly, yeah. So I watched 2002, 2003-ish, I think he came along. Okay. Uh, tell us about your first match. My first match was against Bobby Biggins. I remember I had to tell, I had to talk the match over a bunch with him. Then I had to go talk to Fat Pants because he was there and he was our referee. And yeah. he was the one who helped me get in and you know wanted me to do good. So I talked to him. Then I guess, funny, Todd Hansen at the time for, was like the senior guy on the show. So I went with him and he wanted me to talk it out with him because we had right. gone to school. So we wanted to make sure I was okay. And uh, it all went good. Wasn't too bad. Dave was there. Was it for uh, NEWA? Yep. North Attleboro. Nice. And now, was that George? Yes. Was yes. George is George. Okay. George, yeah. yep. Okay, Dave. Well, I just have a question. We weren't you in a Battle Royal before that match? Yes, actually. I no, See, I, I'm thinking, no, most, no, I appreciate it. I was in do. a few. I was in a few, but I figured singles match. But yeah, right. I was in yeah, a Battle absolutely. Royal in Upton, Massachusetts yeah. for Chaotic in January of 2002. We went up there and did the ring crew and, you know, watching the show and Mindy and Minnie and me are walking around and they say, hey, come here. I say, okay. They're like, go over the top rope. I do. And they're like, okay, well, you're going to be in the match tonight. And I was like, nice. Uh, I think the Mighty Minnie actually was the one who talked me into doing it because yeah. I was very nervous about it. Right. Yeah. So it was fun. It's actually online right now. You can see it if you Still research it. Yeah. I just watched it with some people at work. Nice. They enjoyed me pulling my Milo shirt down the entire time because I did not want anybody to see me shirtless. <laughs> I'm wearing the Skunk O'Malley singlet. Oh, good old Skunk O'Malley. Mav mm -hmm. wanted to kill him one time. Yeah. 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 I think everybody did. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, so. I would imagine. I mean, he is an, he is an idiot. He is. He, he is. really I is an idiot. Yeah. Totally. All right. So we got a bunch of fan questions. I, I oh, put it geez. out late and we got a, a, a good amount. Oh, that's crazy. Uh, Eros Drifter. Yep. Yeah, okay. Is that a real person? Is that his real he's, name? He's a guy from Maine. He's okay. one of the guys who trained. What's your favorite match besides Styles? Obviously, that's AJ Styles. Yes. Uh, without a doubt, my match, the first time I got to wrestle Eddie Edwards. Nice. That was it. I, we were supposed to wrestle for 20 minutes, but somebody wasn't telling us the time. <laughs> And we had no idea, and I'm getting kicked in the back asking how much time's left. I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> Let's just go into it. And right. all of a sudden, the match ends. And so what was we the time, Any? What the time 30? ended up being? Like 30 minutes, 30 I think. Minutes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just beat me. I was the, yeah. Beat me for 30. Duties, they didn't inform me that they needed to know the time. Yeah. I didn't even know it was going to a drawer at that point. <laughs> nice. So, yeah. Nice. All right. Uh, Joey Kilmartin. Yep. Any comments on your days working for Jason Rumble? Ah, my older little brother. Love that man. He's always treated me great. You know, he helped me a lot. He, without him, I wouldn't be wrestling right now. So, right. Yeah, he's always been good to me. He's been good to Joey, too. Yep, very really good to good. Joey. Yep. And just so you know, a guy by the name of Jason Delgado says, tell him I love him and miss him. Tell him I said he's got my number. Call me and text me. <laughs> All right, I'll hit him up. No, right you know now. what? Actually, funny story about that yeah. real quick. Because yeah, yeah, go ahead. I know that Your he's going to see this, and I know that Osiris is going to love this story. All right. But we're in the middle of a meeting in Maine about to start the matches and stuff, so we're having our team meeting. And Sonny at the time was owner, and he was a general manager of a dealership, so he couldn't always talk to everybody because he was, you know, gambling a lot, not right. really selling cars. <laughs> <laughs> so... Rumble's sitting there, and he's, like, very helpful in the company. He's like, guys, just text me. Right. I can get a hold of him. I'll get a hold of him. We'll talk to him. We'll get it done. I use my phone like it's my business. I always got my phone. The meeting ends, I rock right up to him, and I go, bro, I talk to you all the time. You never text me back. Takes you days. He goes, never have my phone on me, kid. <laughs> <laughs> you just told me that. <laughs> Osiris is just sitting there laughing. I was sitting there laughing about it. That is pretty funny. Right? right? Like, I'm like, thanks, buddy. Thanks. All right. Uh, Eric Dowling, favorite moment from IWE in Maine? Probably have to be the Eddie match. Yeah. That's probably my proudest one from there. Yeah. Because the Styles match was a different place. So, yeah, definitely that one. Okay. Uh, Randy Kava, which I love this. This is must-see television. I appreciate it. Thank you, Randy. I love you, Randy. I love you. 
Randy Smart Kid. Oh, man. Uh, man, I've been, Randy's been watching me since 2009. Right. I'm I just, just a young kid, you know, yeah. doing great I things with Russell. I love seeing man. it. It's awesome. I just was at the school the other day hanging out with them, so. Nice. Yeah. All right. Mike Crockett. Yep. Favorite and least favorite memories from the early days of Chaotic. Least favorite are going outside to run drills. Because we, uh, where the chaotic school was, there was a baseball field and a basketball court and a block that you could run around. So I'd be out there in our wrestling shoes and stuff and we'd run around the block. One night they'd have us run the bases. Like you'd have to run to first, yeah. then you'd have to run to second, third. If the guy caught you, you had to do push-ups. Oh. You'd never believe who's behind me most of the time. Oh, hey, John Walters. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah. that, that's going to be fun. I'm yeah. sure I'm going to outrun him. Yeah. Honest, you, your cardio is never your My strong cardio suit. is never my strong suit. Still so how many push-ups you end up doing? Quite a few. Quite a few. Quite a few. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, he caught me a bunch. All right. But what about favorite? Or did you, or did you say both? They, they nope, both were your that, favorite and least? No, that okay. was definitely the least. <laughs> the camaraderie. Like when I finally realized they weren't just beating me up to beat me up. They right. were trying to help me. Right. I learned how to be better because I wanted to be better for them because at the time, Walters and Vicala were starting their tag team and they needed somebody to, yeah, they needed somebody to practice all their sweet moves on. Yeah. And why not the 16 year old little lemon head? He'll, he'll sit there and take the try, you right. know, all of it. So it got me better because I wanted to be able to do that for them. Nice. They so were a hell of a team. I'd I, like to yep. have them on together, but John's hardly ever around here. Rich brought yeah, John in here for that. me. Yeah. Couldn't believe it. Rich hits me up one day and says, hey, would you like John Walters on your show? Who wouldn't? What am I going to say? No, of course I do. I, I was working at the movie theater in one of my days where I wasn't being an adult, and uh, John Walters comes up like to ask him. I'm like, are you serious right now? Hold on. I talked to the boss because uh, he's actually Scott Ferguson. Scott. You, yeah, yeah, you know. He actually was in Nashville. Yeah, actually, I actually got to go see him in a casino. little bit. Yeah. I'm going to see him after right. this. Yeah, actually. Uh, I walk up to him because John left. Yeah. His movie wasn't for a couple of hours. I said, hey, can I get two tickets? He's like, for what? I go, John Walters? He goes, yeah. Hands me two tickets. John comes in. I give them to him. I go, you're all set. Free, nice. Freebie, yeah. yeah. Very nice. Yeah. All right. Sonny Roselli. Oh, geez. How do you have the two matches of your career versus AJ Styles and Eddie Edwards and have no film from their matches? Because I'm not Osiris and I don't have a personal cameraman. <laughs> <laughs> the cameraman on the Eddie Edwards match had just gotten a new camera and Dave was there. So he knows, like I was, I had left them having lunch and I was, first thing I said was, I can't wait to get home. I'm going to get a copy of this match. I didn't even get up to Walmart to go shopping before I had to text Eddie telling him that they lost the footage. Wow. Yeah. That was, yeah. That's a shame. Yeah. Um, all right. Bo Douglas. Web juice. That's not a question. That's a, you just, it's a pew, web juice. Oh, that, oh yeah. that's what, oh, pew, web juice. gotcha, gotcha, yeah, like Spider-Man. Exactly. Like Spider-Man, exactly. right, that's cool. Yeah. See, I'm too old. I'm idea. too old for this yeah, stuff. I don't know all these. Thing. Yeah, but then like me and Bo got into it, and now Bo does it. You know, I love Bo Diddy. Yeah. You know, my grandson said that um, no cat means no lion. Nowadays, like, no, you're not, that deer, you're not lying. You're that, no cat. I got my like, cat. No. I switched him. You guys watched me. I switched. Nice. Yeah, I switched him. All right. Brendan McKenzie, favorite moments during his ring crew days for Chaotic? The one or two random times that me and Mighty Minnie got to go in and hang out at the uh, bowling alley and the bar part, because we got back and we didn't get caught. So those were fun, because then you get to hang out with all the guys and see everybody having fun as opposed to, you know, right. going out to eat after with all the guys. Yeah. I was lucky Milo would give me a ride home, so I was able to do all that most of the time. That's cool. Yeah. All right. Uh, now, I, I told you earlier, off here, that I got an unknown red tape. Oh, no. Please, no. Go ahead. I just, I just had a question. That I yeah, to, please. How did you transition from, you know, Massachusetts and the Chaotic Trade Center to winding up in Maine? Uh... <laughs> Not my proudest moment, as you know, because you know I call I, I sent Dave a message thinking, oh, this is going to be a great statement. I quit high school. Not the greatest thing. So chaotic wasn't very happy when they found that out. Right. So I kind of stopped training for a little while because you know I had to get my stuff together. And one of the things to go back was they wanted to see me trying to get my GED at least. Right. And I did, but those classes were the same night as class, so I couldn't go. Right. 
So after a while, I went up to Maine, because that's where my aunt and uncle lived, and my uncle's had a construction company, so I said, you know what, I'm just gonna come up here and work. Yeah. Yeah, so I started working there uh, in Sanford, and then randomly seen a poster for a wrestling show with a strap match between Cameron Matthews and Paul Hudson, who I knew from NEWA days. Right. It's like, well, I'm gonna go see this. Went, seen it, had a great time. Didn't see, like nobody's seen me that I knew, so. Hung out, oh, Larry did actually. Went back to the next one, Kevin Matthews seen me, talked to me, introduced, Kevin seen me, talked to me, they introduced me to Sonny who blew me off because he thought I was just some fan, you know, good guy he is. Uh, introduced me to Jason Rumble and Rumble said, Rumble happened to live in Sanford where I lived, so he picked me up and we went to Buxton and that's how I transitioned to wrestling in Maine. Nice. Started wrestling and then Wrestled a few weeks, wrestled Sonny, he punched me in the face. Came to the locker room, I said, thank you very much for the match. He goes, will you build my ring next week on a tour? I said, yeah. He goes, well, Honky Tonk Man's coming on tour, why don't you come? Nice. Happened to be my birthday week, I got to have lunch with the Honky Tonk Man on my 19th birthday. Wow. You can legitimately say you and Honky Talk Man are friends. Like, yes. I've seen it firsthand. Like, yes, right. he, looks he like loves when, me. When, when, when right. Now, oh, I believe uh, it. Yeah, yeah. if you I'll spend you, time, of course. I'll, I'll tell you off shows what he asked Sonny one time, and I was like, he didn't ask you that. He asked him. I was not happy. <laughs> well, that the, this unknown person did happen to bring that up and said, you traveled with the Honky, honky Talk Man. Yep. And did you learn anything with him on the, from on the road? I learned how to drink. <laughs> Vodka? Straight. Yeah. Because I could have swore I saw a documentary and he'd like Straight the vodka. vodka. Yeah. Yeah. Do we have time for a good one? Yeah. Of course. It might even be something somebody's asked you, but me, Sonny Roselli, Honky Tonk Man, and Eric Atlas, the IWE owner, all went to Canada one time. And me and Eric, it was like three days we were up there and we had a couple of shows with Honky and we don't get to sleep too much with honkies around because he drinks a lot, you know, we have fun. It's a right. good time. So me and Eric fell asleep in the back on the way home. Our, our bad, we probably shouldn't have. Honky likes to take his vodka straight with Kool-Aid powder. Okay. And he puts it in the Gatorade bottle that's orange so it looks like it's Gatorade. Right. He lost the cap along our trip. And instead of waking me up to ask me for a Gatorade cap, no, he just drank the entire trip. So we get to the Canadian border and we have to give our licenses and he needs his passport. He would refuse to give his passport. Not giving it. No, they know who I am. Honky, we can't, we gotta give them the passport. Yeah. The whole trip there, we get there and it proceeds. I'm not giving it to him. He knows who I am. We're, no, Honky, this doesn't work. Then he gets out of the car. And then I get the, get out and get him. Yeah. I get out, and as I look, there's four officers with their hands on their guns, ready to go if they need to. Right. While he's trying to walk around to go get the eight by 10 out of the thing to show him who he is, as opposed to the passport that's in his bag. Right. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, I wanna so, show him this. Gets the eight by 10, oh gives God. it to him. It's the one of him and Hulk Hogan, and the guy. <laughs> Of course, it is. of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? Why wouldn't it be? Right. <laughs> the guy lucked out and knows Honky, and he's trying to tell him, and he goes, "Yeah, no." The other guy kind of looks like a terrorist. I'm like, I'm like are you, "Wait a minute here." Now I'm getting kind of messed up because I'm like, "This guy's yeah. top ten recognizable people on the planet back in the day." What are you talking about? He looks like a terrorist. So we get back, we get across the border, and if you've ever gone across Calis, you know there's a store right here. So we stop at the gas station to gas up, and then yeah. Honky proceeds to urinate on the wall while they're all watching and then decides to go back and give everybody autographs except for the one chick who was a word I'm not gonna say to him. Okay. Yeah, I so think we all know what that word is. Yeah, Women don't nice. like that word. She's not very nice to him. No, no. Nah, so yeah, she was being rude now. for a little while. Dude, that's, that's a great story. That's one of the better stories I've ever heard on this show, seriously. Sure that was a great scared. story. I'm all right. Honky's told you the three things you need on the road. I'll just give the short. Go, oh, please tell. Gas, food, and women. Yep. No. Oh, then the best part, from Callis border, all the way to Dexter, Maine. That's all he talked about. Just kept saying, "How I, I got across the border without the passport?" <laughs> like, you did. Yeah. I, we almost got shot. You did. It's a good day. I, I was a hockey fan before he was the honky talk man. I'm a Memphis. I loved Memphis wrestling. Mm -hmm. You know, incredible. All right, um, so. 
You wrestled AJ Styles, Eddie Edwards, yep. and Ring of Honor world champ Matt Taven yep. all within a month of each other. No. No? No, a couple oh. months. Uh, Matt Taven and AJ Styles, I think, were in, like, it was March, April. Okay. Yeah, and then Eddie was, I don't think I wrestled. You wrestled Eddie yeah, twice. No, I wrestled Eddie a few times. Yeah, I was going to say, mean, like, I, four, I just I read two results. Four singles matches, I think a six-way ladder match and a tag match with DC yeah. Dillinger and Tony Atlas, where Tony Atlas was the only guy making sense in the match. Well, look. I don't know how that happened, but D it DC got brought up again. Do you have any funny stories from D of DC? Seriously, I, I would love it. DC was always great to me. Yeah. Like I said, I've known him since before I started wrestling. I only got to hang out with him a few times, but it was a great time. You yeah. know, he, the night that him and Eddie came up from mine and Eddie's second match, I was riding with Jay Gillette, and he said, no, you're not riding with me. And then he brought me all the way to my mom's house. So he That's wanted awesome. me to be with him, you know. He was always great with me. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah, he looked like a mean guy, but he, he had a soft was, exactly. spot for a he lot of the boys, you. man. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. No doubt. All right, uh, you had a great winning streak going in Maine, too. How long was that winning streak about? Probably from, like, January to, like, September. Nice. I had, yeah, that's when I had my best matches. Right. Because, yeah. And what year was that? 2010. That's when I had the match with Eddie. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, that summer I had a match with Eddie, then I had a match with Cameron Matthews, then I had a match with Shane Alden, right in the same building, oh, and it was just, right in Fairfield, yeah. and it was just killer match after killer match. Other than the big three, Eddie, Eddie, AJ, and Matt Taven, who do you feel is the, your best opponent on the Indies? It would either be Cameron Matthews or Scott Vegas, now Alexander Lee. Those are who I had my nice. most, Right. that's, Cameron's always been my single best opponent one-on-one. -on -one. Right. And Alexander Lee, he's yep. one a third of the main state posse yep. for a while. Yep. Now they're so Way no before. Yeah, yeah. Way yeah. before right. that. But we had some really fun matches beating each other down. Nice. Yep. All right. Um, piano dos? Huh? Piano dose. No? Piano doses? Is that what he's trying to say? Maybe that's. Oh, I know who that's from. Who? Oh. That's from the, the captain of the grilled cheese himself. <laughs> huh? And who? Extreme Strongman? Yeah. You know Piano Because yep. oh. he told me to call you that, so I didn't yeah. want to say who it was, but yeah. I figured that might give it away. I was like, sorry, talking. Gino. It's, yeah. They like make like rolls and stuff. Rolls. Thank yeah. you, though, for yeah. uh, sending in yeah, the Yeah, they stuff. make rolls. And when we went to Maine, <laughs> I wrestled in Fairfield since 2004, and then I kind of stopped for a while. I'd say like 2013 or 12 or 13, when Gino was wrestling and I really wasn't, we discovered the Chinese place that was right next door to it. And you know, back in the day in Massachusetts, if you got Chinese food, you always got rolls. Right. Yeah. Down there, you up there you don't. So me and Gino would go there, and I'd but we'd stop and buy panda dosi rolls on the way up, so we could have Chinese food with rolls. So, nice. Yeah, of yeah, course. Well, he did tell me to, to say it, so yeah, of course. I didn't know how to pronounce it. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm glad Dave knew exactly what it was, obviously. No, he gave, but he gave away his uh, Exactly. Yeah, he gave away his I don't, think, I don't think he's Maybe mad. That's why he yeah. did it. You know? Exactly. Yeah, but, oh, that, right, exactly. I would know. <laughs> right. I would know. All right. Uh, a good friend of mine, a fellow co guy I used to work with, Brian Mueller, says, uh, who is a better tag team? The Faces of Fear, Ming and Barbarian, or the Hot Foundation? Oh, Heart Foundation. But I ain't messing with Ming and the Barbarian. Exactly. I'm dumb That's a and great I mess answer. with some people, but yeah. No. But I'm Ming good. one of the nicest people. We met him down at the gathering. He's yeah. The nicest people oh, my God, God, huh? I've, so yeah. nice. Yeah. We go to the gathering every year now, okay, and yeah. it's unbelievable. Not, not the ICP I one. No, no, I wouldn't. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I can imagine Dave at the ICP oh, one. Yeah, just, yeah. Out there just in mud and shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Can you yeah. meet you and Damon at the ICP? Yeah. yeah. Clown, saying, clown you know? makeup oh, on yeah. all of us. Yeah, yeah. hey. Yeah, exactly. Maybe if I had a few drinks in me, I might be a juggalo. <laughs> uh, that's <laughs> it. That's it. That's funny. All right. Uh, what are your thoughts on why Demolition isn't in the WWE Hall of Fame? Which I didn't even realize that, that yeah. they're not. That's amazing because that's my favorite tag team of all time. Right no there. doubt. I love them, yeah. I collect figures and I make sure I have all of theirs. And I don't know why. I didn't hear of the Heat 
I Are, really there has to be that. There has asked to be some heat, Billy though. Eddie, he, him and Vince, he had a big lawsuit against Vince. Oh, he did. And fought for the name, like the rights to the name and everything. So I think okay. that probably. Oh, yeah. That's yeah, probably yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. that'll do it. And you got to wonder, do you think yeah. they're going to continue with the WWE Hall of Fame now that it's not owned by the McMahons? Do you think that they're going to put out that money to, to put on the Hall of Fame? I think Have they you, do. you think so? Yeah. yeah. I hope so. I'm just saying, do you, you know. Have they yeah, made any announcements see. for this year? No. I haven't seen anything. Nothing yet. at all. Kind of, that is kind of odd because usually they start that they, really early. They've gotten it by now. Yeah. Sure. All right. So uh, why don't we play the name game for a little while? Good, Dave. Right. We got game. plenty of time, plenty of names. Yeah. Plenty of time. So I know See, I told you it wouldn't take this long. <laughs> <laughs> we still have plenty of time. Oh, yeah, we do. <laughs> so when you got to Maine, I know you you know you became really good friends with Sonny Roselli. Yep. I think you and him had many matches together. Quite a few. What would you say your favorite match against him was? Uh, probably the next one we have because I owe him a couple of beatings. The cage one, he got a little frisky with me and uh, I told him he could have a couple because I was a little bad. And yeah, he kept hitting me and hitting me and hitting me after I told him to stop. So the next one's going to be the best one because I'm just going to hit him. So that would probably be the best I, one, I'd say. I would say, he, I mean, he's one of the most underrated big guys, I think, out there. Like, yeah. You know. He's good. Yeah. Back in the day, now he's... Yeah, now he's, he's got some care. grace. He's got some <laughs> he grace. Care, no? Yeah, <laughs> some grace. <laughs> How about uh, Jason Holiday? Jason Holiday always had a great time with Jason Holiday. Came down from Canada, or even if I went up there, yeah, great guy. Love Jason Holiday. Still keep in touch with him every once in a while. Excellent. How about uh, Doctor Everett Payne? Love hanging out in the van. Love hanging out in the van. Every time I'd see Dr. Payne, I always have a big hug for him. I love seeing him, and I hope I get to see him soon. Nice. Um, Rick Daniels. Always had fun with Rick. Yeah. Rick, we still see each other to this day. We still have our inside jokes that we talk about. He knows what I'm talking about. Do you have any names you want to just throw out there? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I have a few. Uh, Doc Ozone. Yes. The legend? <laughs> the legend I'm, I'm, himself? I'm breathing. I'm smoking? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've seen him sleeping. I've seen him sleeping quite a few times in the back seat, but I love him so much. He's one of my favorite people on the planet. He's a good guy, and he loves to give Leo like six hugs a night. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you, you get know. six? I get like I six get, like, hugs 30, every time four, I see him. Yeah. I get like six hugs. I'm like, I, he likes me. I, yeah. I thought, you know, obviously Osiris G.A. is probably my best friend, so yeah. I'm very close to him and his family. When I had a girlfriend... I was like, oh, come and meet my best friend. And somehow Doc was more over with her than I was. And I was afraid when Doc came around, he was going to, I was like, you can't, you guys can't be alone. Wow. Let me take her. Doc. I didn't realize he was on. Uh, no, he's, he's smooth, smooth. And he don't huh? care. And yeah. he don't care. And I yeah. love him. But he don't care. I'm like, Doc, that's my girlfriend. Right. My girlfriend now. Yes. Any others? Oh, I definitely have some more, but. I okay, yeah, yeah, I'll go. I'm um, say go through your list and then I can. Frankie Armadillo. Oh man, I love Frankie Armadillo. I used to get to see him at chaotic shows in the past, and then when we got to Maine, he'd come up and hang out in Buxton. Uh, hung out with. I was walking down the street one day in Dexter on my way to an apartment, and he was moving furniture, and I just hear my name. And I'm like, "What? It's Frankie Armadillo in a moving truck." Nice. He's the best. Oh, I can't. I another one. I hope to see. I was in a uh, battle royal with Booker. Okay. And I had. I was like. You won't give me the armadillo blaster right now? Sure he enough, did. he did. Yep. Nice. It was a good time. How about uh, the late great Kid Crazy? I only hung out with Crazy a couple of times. I wasn't around the EWA too much. I only went one time and slept because I worked overnights. But uh, I went once. Yeah, that one time that we went to Subway. I, yeah. I blame Maverick Wild. Maverick Wild worked very hard on the ring crew. That Maverick time. Wild <laughs> worked me super hard on the ring crew. It was me and B. Duffy. Yes, yeah, so we went to the yeah. house where Maverick kept the ring. Yeah. I was warehouse at the time. And we yeah. loaded the ring under the truck and went to the show and unloaded it. And, yeah. yeah. It was fun. But Kid Crazy one time was at uh, NWA on Fire with a couple of people. And, he started, and he's like looking at me. He goes, Big Dog. And I go, Yeah. He goes, I think I'm looking for you. And I go, yeah, I'm the guy you're looking for. And he was all set after that for the nice. guy. And I was so happy because I because I like to hang out with people. And like yeah. sometimes you just see them like at the show or their yeah. character on the show. And I never met him. So I was like, oh, he might not want to. Like, he might be like trying to hit me or something. Nope. Not great middle, guy. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Okay. That's it. I know you're in the middle of the name game, but I just, nope. he brought up NWA. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, please. Uh, what were your memories of working with the Savoldis? Because... I thought Bob Backlund was going to fight me one night. <laughs> yeah, he had, like, you know, I, I was outside hanging out with a couple of the boys, Jason Rumble, a couple of the boys. 
I'm the referee making like no money on this show. Right. You think that he'd be upset at the boys who are making money on the show doing it? Nope. You can ask Sonny Roselli. He, they're talking about something. And he's just staring me down. Sonny goes, go away. Go start the ring. He might fight you. I go, I don't know what I did. <laughs> I don't think he liked the way I smelt. I think he's just staying in character. Wow. But they were talking about that kind of stuff, so I don't know. They were looking at me. What about the Savoldis themselves? Like, I mean, I know. Like, I didn't really deal with them too much because Sonny was there. Tommy he dealt with it. Help you with your refereeing at all? Just kept telling me about the horseshoe, okay. stay in the horseshoe when I was refereeing, and right. I was I understood because of being a wrestler, right, where I needed to be. So he didn't really have to talk to me too much. Yeah. But yeah, once in a while they'd talk to you, but like they'd be nice. They came up, shook my hand, right. hello, bye. But I didn't, I'm not really big on the people in charge, okay. just because you know what I mean. Yeah. So did you, did you enjoy refereeing though? Yeah, it was yeah. fun. You know, I got to ref for like Rick Fuller and. Nice. Yeah. Uh, who else? Apollo was up there. Yeah, so yeah. those were fun. Yeah, Apollo. Yeah, Gino was, was there at the time, did, yeah, so it was have, fun. Have you ever taken a uh, Rick Fuller chop? No. Oh. Luckily. Luckily. Yeah, you were very oh, lucky. lucky. Yeah. Very lucky. Yeah. I was filming a show one time and bumped into him, and I went, sorry, and he turned around and shot me. Yeah. yeah. No. Oh, yeah. Locked I, out somehow. Yeah. 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 Nice guy. He was a great guy. I nice drove with guy. him one night. Yeah. I drove with him and uh, Joey Eastman one night, and they were both awesome guys. Right. Talked the whole way down, yeah. you know, very nice Joe's to me. Joey's funny, too. Yeah. Joey's, Joey's very, very funny. All right. I'm Makua. Oh, I love Makua. I love Makua. I've known Makua since Everett Semi Pro Wrestling. You now you that? wrestled. I remember, remember that. that? Yeah. You wrestled against him in Cahoco. Yeah. I actually. Cahoco. Cahoco, right? Cahoco, yeah. Is that how now? That wasn't Falaba. No. no. Cahoco is. Not Tony. Tony. Yeah. Oh, okay. Tony. This Tony. Okay. Make it's sure. Funny. All right. The only reason I know it. Yeah. I ring announced him the first time I went to Maine, and I was like, I got to ring announce him, and I'm like, how do you say the name? And I got my cores right, but I screwed up Cahoco like three times in a row, and then finally got it down. So. Nice. Uh, me and him trained at Chaotic together, so it was right. funny to me that we like I we joke around when we wrestle. Like, man, we had to come all the way to Maine like four years after we trained together to finally wrestle each other. How funny is this? But I won my first belt from them when me and Rumble won the tag team titles at Skip's last show. Nice. And then we never defended them. <laughs> now, what was that? Was that IWE tag no, belts? No, New Wrestling Horizons tag belts. Okay. Yeah. So no. since we're in the name, oh, I'm sorry. No, no, go, go. We're in the name game and you just brought up New Wrestling Horizons, Chris Santone. Oh, I love Chris Santone. Probably one of my best friends. I just, he was just my roommate for a while, him and his son. Old Hems. How old was the son? 18. Damn. Wow. wow. I Going to college. him in Portland and his kid was like this high. Dude, yeah. kids grow up so fast, man. Going they college, so and fast. Wow. Plays baseball. He's like... If you know Chris Santone and knew him back when we knew him in NEWA days, you would not think he'd have a son the way he is. The kid's on the honor roll. He helps nice. out at the school. He's That's always awesome. doing something. He plays a bunch of sports. You know, yeah. That's yeah, the best thing you can kid. do for your kid is yeah. get them involved exactly. in things. And Santone, Everything, you, you know. And if you knew him then, yeah. to know him now, wouldn't believe it. He is 100% dedicated to the community. That's he awesome. is very into the baseball. He's very into the sports and teams. He's That's fantastic. Very helpful to the school. He's like the president of baseball, the yeah. vice president of football, and because, a bunch of other things I don't care about. Because I work in an elementary school. Yes, I know. And, I and see the, that stuff. That disrespectful kids today is yeah. really bad. Yeah. The fifth grade, the whole fifth grade's ridiculous this year. Oh, yeah. I mean, and it's just going to get worse because they're going to have kids. Exactly. Ten years from now, yeah. tw you know, whatever, 20 years from now. But yeah. No. So Chris is a good guy. Uh, Savio Vega. Had some fun with Savio. We had a couple of matches so far. Then we went down to Puerto Rico, wrestled for him down there, which was fun. I always enjoy when I get to see yeah. Savio. Did you ever get anything thrown at you from in Puerto Rico? No, like, seriously? I was a baby face, luckily. Oh, I could. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, good. Luckily. Yeah. But there wasn't... When it wasn't as there, bad. It wasn't like that. Like, yeah, it wasn't like the yeah. 80s and the 70s. I thought that too. He heard it stories like, ah, oh, what are they going to throw? I go, they're not going to throw stuff they throw at us. Cups of pee. Yeah, well, you know come on. Batteries. Come on, man. Rocks. Yeah. Any kids that Tony Atlas went to Puerto Rico with? No. No, he didn't go with us. <laughs> oh, God. Dave. So now, so who, what company did you wrestle for in Puerto Rico? IWA, I believe it was. Okay, yeah. cool. It was for Savio. Nice. All right, I'm going to bring up a couple of kind of name guys that you worked. Uh, Spike Dudley. 
We were hanging out with Jay Gillette in the car. Oh, his name's yeah. right next to him. Yeah. It is. We were hanging out with Spike Dudley and, you know, whatever's going down. Yeah. Spike's like, man, I'm just going to beat the crap out of my opponent tonight. I'm not going to give this kid anything. Looks back at me because Gillette's laughing. Looks back at me and I go, he goes, uh, I'm like, dude, I don't care. You're putting me over. Beat me up. That's what they want to right? see. The least right. like, I don't have, I have like seven moves. Do you think I really want to do them? <laughs> like, no, man. I'm good. Beat me up. Let me pin you. We'll call it a night. That's awesome. That, I think, is what started the win streak, too. Yeah. That's what that, I th uh, probably the first night. No, the first night I lost to Vegas, so that started it for the next, yeah. The nice. Next. All right, how about uh, Sanjay Dutt, who's working for AEW now, I yeah. think. I had a fun time with him. He'd wrestled Cameron Matthews like two or three times. We knew him. So when he came up, he was happy to wrestle with me. Uh, easy, fun, didn't mind anything. Was happy. Nice. With... Is Cameron still wrestling? Cameron, yeah, once in a while yeah. he'll come out and wrestle, yeah. Hell of a talent. Oh, um, unbelievable. I, a guy I like a lot. And he was really little when I knew him. Dollar D. He's not so little no more. No, he's not. Dino's a big kid. Yeah, he is he's a big, big kid. I've seen him, yeah. Remember when he used to have to wear the mask at Skips? Yeah. He wasn't old enough for the commission. Yeah. yeah. We can talk about that now. Exactly. Yeah. I think exactly. There's no that commission. Last, right. Uh, yeah, there's no Osiris commission. That up last That's time. awesome. Yeah, there's no commission anymore. Yeah. yeah, he was always fun to hang out yeah. with. Yeah. Says he's a good, good dude. Doesn't yeah. wrestle anymore, though. Nope. No. You know? Um, all right. He's got a family. Doing good. I heard you mention uh, Booker. So Adam Booker. Adam Booker. I always enjoy seeing Adam Booker. When uh, Cameron Matthews has shows and Adam can make them, me and him get to team up, and it's always fun. Uh, I've known Booker since like same thing since like 2002 when he worked for Chaotic. Came down nice. here, and and it's funny because some people will see us and they're like, "You guys are good buddies." We're like, "We've known the guy over 20 years. Of course, we're good buddies." Right. Like, How about I? Adam Hasty, a guy I've never met, but I'd love to have love him on Adam the show. Hasty. I would, because yeah. I remember reading his name a lot back in the day. Yeah, he was another one of those guys that hang out with at Skips outside, you know, we became buddies yeah. because of it, and then just had fun. I remember I had a match with Cameron Matthews that's on YouTube that he watched on TV and uh, sent us a comment about, said, hey, it was a nice. really good match. I wanted to tell you guys about it. So I was very happy with that. What about the uh, Logan Brothers? Yeah. Oh, I, Matt and Brian? Yeah. yeah. And Nick. Nick. Nick, Nick too. Yeah, I remember Nick's Nick. doing great things, man. He's yeah, really I see that. Co co coach, co co coach <laughs> of Lowell High School Wrestling, yeah. who has a, a big history yeah. of being fantastic wrestlers. Didn't his son just like hit 100 wins last night or something yep. as we taped yep. this? Yeah, I'm very happy to see that. Brian, I always enjoyed seeing when I see them. I don't see them very often, but when I do, they always come up and hang out, big hugs all around. Uh, Matt sold me my first pair of wrestling boots. Yeah. Nice. And Matt's living Matt. in Florida now. Yep. Doing yeah. really well from yep. something. Congratulations. When I had my company up there, they came up and wrestled for us once. And nice. Just like seeing them back in, you know, just like 2003. Yeah. What was it like uh, running your own wrestling company? Stressful. Yeah, well, it's, not, it's not worth it. No, definitely like, not. Uh, no. I have family members will say to me, how come you do, you're you not involved with yeah. wrestling? Like, no. how come you don't run shows? And I say to them, you got $5,000 exactly. I can have? Mm -hmm. You're like, what do you mean? You borrowed? No, have. Because I ain't going to make any money the first, no matter what. You got to dump some money in oh, yeah. to, in order for it to be successful down the line. You know how many, when we ran that company, how many Tony's pizzas me and Sonny had to split? We couldn't even have the whole one. Right. Because we had no money, because we'd put everything into it, because yeah. we wanted it to be oh, yeah? something nice. Right. I remember there was a guy who ran a show in Rhode Island once. Um, I'm going to leave his name out of it just because I don't want any heat. Yeah, yeah. Story. But after the end of that, I refereed on the show that night. At the end of the night, he came over, he gave me you know, whatever, like $10, whatever the payday was. And then he goes, good show. He goes, you know, had fun. He goes, but I won't be able to pay my rent this month. And I was just like, mm -hmm. what? That happens <laughs> like, often. I'm like. Yeah. I'm like, was it really like, to me, that wouldn't be worth it? It's not. Right. Remember right. that kid that ran out. that show in Lowell? Yeah. I mean, he had to, he left. Matter of fact, Troop, I, I, I'm coming to the show to sell merchandise, mm -hmm. and Troop's sitting on the back of his truck with one pole. And I'm like, what's going on? He goes, I'm waiting for the kid. If you don't give me my money, you ain't getting this last pole. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Right? So the kid left, went and got his mother, left again, went and got his mother again, how many times because he, 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 ran, he ran a, a show on like his taxes yeah, and didn't have enough it. money. That's how it happens. Yeah. Yeah. Idiots. And that was our thing too is 
the night before the show, I'd sit up and put everybody's money in an envelope so right. that they were but, there. The first but I thing think I gave that's was a that. good that's a good business. They, man. Yeah, that's they good. get their money first because they're coming out of the yep. way, you know. And I know what it's like to not get any money. Right, it's not right. fun. That's awesome. I like um, to hear that. Good. Because this name's probably not on your list. And I didn't even know about this until you mentioned it the other day when I brought the name, but uh, Carrie and Ricky Moore. Oh, yeah. I, no, I don't fun, have yeah. them down. Uh, Paul Hudson got hurt and hurt his knee. So, you know, Cameron Matthews is like a brother to me, one of my best friends, and very selective on who he'll wrestle with. Yeah. So he likes me for some reason. So I got to be a third member of the competition. And they just so happened to be wrestling Carrie and Ricky Morton in Maine. And we had the match, and you know, I showed up in a shirt and tie and a vest, and they were impressed to see that. Nice. So it was that's really awesome. Good. I enjoyed it. I had fun. Yeah, I met him at the gathering, yeah. and yeah, Dave's actually guys. become friends with Kerry. Yeah, yeah. Kerry's a good kid. Like, you know, he's very good, very use, very yeah. helpful. Yeah, I think I think yeah. I think kid has a chance to be a big star. Yeah, I really got do. To, got to the back and was very after the match was so everything good. Every can't ask nice. for more. All right, how about uh? Scotty Wild. He wrestles for like PPV or something like that. Yeah. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. Uh, we had a couple of matches, always had fun. Yeah. Always great outside the ring. Always enjoyed talking to him outside. We always had fun. Good times. Jay Gillette, guy that I contact, contacted and said he definitely would like to do it down the line. She said, don't forget about me, just hit me up later. Yeah. Uh, one of my good friends, you know, helped me a lot in real life. Yeah. I, you know, was down a little bit, brought me to his house, let me live there for a little bit, and then I started working for him, making nice. a living, and yeah. got an apartment, and became That's a awesome. grown-up, you know what I mean? So That's he's awesome. very helpful in that. Good, you can throw in a good word for me. Yes. Um, Ricky Williams. Uh, Mr. Canada. Always had fun with him. He's yeah. a good guy, you know, he's always there to help you if you need it. He's always fun to talk to. We always enjoyed each other's time. Uh, Johnny Fabulous. Oh, man, ah. I love Johnny Fabulous. I've, I, I was on the Johnny Fabulous bandwagon before anybody else. Really? Yeah. You know, he used, because I'd been going to the Chaotic shows, yeah. and Milo was the bad guy commentator, and then that switched to Johnny Fabulous, and I just would always stand up for Johnny Fabulous and clap. Love nice. Him. Sometimes Johnny Fabulous forgets who I am, though, because like I've changed over the years. Right, and, like, he'll yeah, see well, me sometimes, and he won't. Yeah. I had a match with Gino one time, and he's like, you wrestling? I'm like, yeah. He's like, I'm going to manage you. And I said, okay, cool. Then I seen him recently, like a couple years ago, the same when I seen Dan, and he had no idea who I was. <laughs> but just, I love him the same. It's the age. It's, exactly. it's got to be the I love age. him the same. But they, they've gotten him for me a couple times. He's yeah, awesome. He's the Great best. guest, he's man. He's so fun to talk to. He is. His health issues are doing better. Yeah. He's had some issues that yeah, way. that is good. And maybe we'll wait till the nicer weather gets here, yeah, too. Exactly. So, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, how about, uh, I mean, I brought him up earlier, Trooper Gilmore. Trooper was always a good guy to me. You know what I mean? Some of those guys, like a Bo and yep. a Trooper, I wouldn't expect to have been so nice to somebody they just met. They've been doing it forever. So, right. you know, but because of my, like, Bo, I met through Todd Hansen. So that helped right. at the Everett Semi Pro. Yeah. Like, he took to me right away and just, like a brother. Yeah. Trooper was the same way because of my relationship with Rumble. He was like, okay, if Rumble likes you, you're good. I went to Trooper's house a couple of times yeah. with Rumble to pick up stuff. We've hung out a bunch when he was around. Always enjoy seeing Trooper. Nice. Teamed up with him one time too, I think. Sorry, I don't mean to keep that. Oh, no, no, that's okay. Uh, Dr. Harris. Uh, good times with Dr. Harris. Yeah. I, later in life, I've liked Dr. Harris before because I wanted to wrestle. And I, again, when you quit high school and you think you're smarter than everybody else, you don't understand the people trying to help you. And I didn't like him because he was like, not nice, but more forward about me getting my GED. Like he right. wasn't happy about it at all. Yeah. Yeah. He was very mean to me about it. Now I see him and it's hugs. I, I thought there was heat, there's none. Right. And that's the thing, like, so. He just wanted you to exactly. do Exactly, and now you, as an older person, you see that, then I didn't. Right. I was just like, oh, because he, you know, he's like, I'm like, he doesn't want to book me, he doesn't like me, like, and you know, but it was just because, hey, you did right. something stupid and you know, yep. you deserve this. Now I see him and I give him a big hug every time I see him and I can't wait to see him again. Nice. And just back on that Maverick Wild. Same, yeah. Maverick was pretty bad to me that day that we did the EWA, because that's after I had quit high school. They were pretty you know, bad, but Maverick before that was also very good to me. Like right. in my first Battle Royal, you'll see I eliminated him. He was nice. cool about it, he gave me some gear, he 
He keeps asking for it back, but he gave it to me, so I don't know why he keeps asking for it back. <laughs> it's kind of odd to me, but yeah, I guess we'll give that, Yeah, I guess Mab, we'll let that go. Mav, what's up with that? You know, I'll let that one go, Mav. It's cool. Yeah, Mav's going be com- Mav's gonna be coming on here soon. Yeah. He's got some gripes, you know, yep. and, uh, and I think he should air them. Yep, yeah, absolutely. You know, just got to do it right. Mm-hmm. That's all. Yeah, absolutely. You know, like I did before, like spitting facts yeah. and telling the truth. You know, that's it. Uh, Jamie Jamikowski. Yeah. Uh, Jamie, it was always good to me when I went yeah. to Chaotic. I'd go help him poster, so he'd buy me ice cream. Uh, he was one of the guys that would give me a ride home every once in a while when Milo couldn't, so I could go build the ring and watch the show. They wanted you to be there. Right. And he was always great to me. That's awesome. Yep. Now, Jamie used to have that, that undercover wear. Yep, I had right undercover to, wear Right next to my girlfriend times. where she worked with her brother. Yep. Now Maria owns the company, but it's in, it's in Bill Ricker. Yeah. But like I'm sitting out back smoking a butt one day and I see like five chaotic dudes get out and start walking in the store. And I'm like, what are you guys doing here? They're like, oh, we work here. And it was Hanson. Mm-hmm. It was. The Logan's worked there. Yeah, it was one of the, wasn't both. There was one Logan. Malonis. And then Malonis. Yeah. And there was two other people, and I can't remember, but it was pretty funny, yeah. man. I was like, what the hell are you guys doing yeah, here? Yeah, that's where we used to keep the merchandise, so that's we've been there many times to go yeah. get merchandise and drop it off. And I'll let you get to the rest of your list, Leo, but just one more name. Uh, adult Mark Beaudry. Uh, yeah. Adult Mark gave me my first payday in wrestling. After that Upton show, me and him, I, uh, we were riding back to Chaotic to build the ring because that's how yeah. they did it every time. And he's like, hey, you know. There wasn't enough for all of us to go in the ring, man. So people would go in different cars. I right. drove with him. He's seen a soda machine right there. He's like, I'm going to grab a drink. You want one? I said, yeah, can I get a Mountain Dew? I went to give him money. He goes, I got it. First wrestling payday I ever got. A Mountain Dew 20 nice. ounce from Adult Mark. He's the man. He's the best. He is. I used to work with Mike back in Pizza Hut back oh. when we were really young, yep. man. That's we awesome. both were young. Yeah, he's always great. Yeah, because Mark, Mark's not that old. No, no, just he's adult. not. But he, but he's not that young either. No, Mark. He's he's an <laughs> I adult. Love Mark. He is an adult. He's You're an right. Adult. He is an adult. All right. Um, how about uh, Matt Ledge? Remember? No, you remember Matt? Matt Ledge. We'll move on. Larry Hunt. He's friends with Bo. I feel like I do, but I'd have to probably see a picture. Okay. Yeah, some of them yeah. I got to see a picture. I met him many times, <laughs> and then I didn't see him for like two years. He showed up at a show in Malden, and I'm like, go around. Like, oh, I'm Dave. And Bo looks at me and goes, how do you two not know each other, right? So it's all good. He Next show, he shows up. He shaves the beard. So I go, oh, hi, I'm Dave. And he just started laughing. He goes, you don't remember me after one show? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, some of them I'd have to, like, I got to see pictures on. Right. How about Larry Huntley? Larry, I always enjoy seeing. I've seen, I've known Larry for right, some twenty one years now. So, wrestle for him. Likes to chop me. Those hurt. <laughs> I don't enjoy it. <clears throat> no, I don't, I don't blame you. I wouldn't like being chopped either. But then so. again, when Eddie chops me, I really don't complain too much. So I guess I guess I gotta I guess I gotta take it from everybody. Right, I right. Take it from him. Eddie does have some good chops. Yeah, he does. No how about uh, how about how about I know you? I see you wrestled this guy a lot. And I assume because you were much younger than Robbie Ellis. I always enjoyed having time with Robbie Ellis in the ring. Yeah. He's always good with me, you know. One night he gave me a ride to meet some of my family to go for Christmas. And I was like, Robbie, let me buy you dinner. He's like, whoa, no, I want to buy you dinner. And I was like, okay, thanks, Robbie. Right? I love Robbie. But he's That's always cool. great. He always enjoyed seeing me. Nice. Always had a handshake and a hug. What about Beavis? Well, who's. All right. Yeah, I don't even. I, th- I know the nickname. All right. Okay. No, well, no, no. That's what he did. Remember? Okay. Shows off. Shows off, guys. He's the he guy from. Uh, yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah. 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 He's Beavis. I, uh, one time I remember watching Eddie and Cameron were about to super kick him and he ducked out. So Eddie stomped him out. It was pretty hilarious to see. I was on the apron selling, but then I started laughing. All right. But I like Beavis. He's not a bad guy. How about a guy that's doing great things in NXT, George Carroll Jr.? Oh, I always enjoyed my time with George. He was always a great guy. Every time I'd see him, he'd always come over and talk to me. Hard working dude. Yeah. Yeah. I wrestled for him a bunch. Yeah. Never got the match with the Mighty Mini I wanted. But hey, we'll <laughs> never talk about it. Don't worry. But no, he was always great with me. And then later on after that, when I got to Maine, I came yeah. down and I watched that man go over the top rope backwards probably 10 times trying to show us how to do it in boxing gloves. <laughs> I don't know why he had boxing gloves on now, but he was showing us he could do it in boxing gloves, and damn, he was better than half of us. Wow. Yeah. All right, how about uh, Johnny Primer? 
I enjoy Johnny Primer. Me and him are buddies now. You know, he hit me in the eye one time. Yeah. It wasn't fun. I had to hit him again. Yeah. You know, but after so long of seeing people on the shows and, you know, people coming in and out and not training and those guys that are on the show because they paid to be on the show. You right. Go to the guys that are, you kind of at least know didn't pay to be on the show. Yeah. And then me and him became buddies because of it. And then, you know, I'd stop over and see him a few times. Bob almost Calhoun. Ooh. Did you deal with him much? I, don't I did. He wasn't that great to deal with. Like he, he wasn't, like you'd think as a seven foot guy, and you know, I was probably 190 pounds. I'm thinking, oh, if I stand on the rope, he could toss me through the air and he can't. Right. He can't do the move. So like, it's, yeah. Yeah. Slick Wagner Brown. Uh, I always enjoy seeing Slick Wagner Brown. Slick Wagner Me Brown's too. fun guy. Yeah. Uh, I don't think he ever remembered me until I started hanging out with Jason Rumble because he always like he's always great. Like yeah, he's never yeah. mean, but he's like, hey, what's up? You know, like there's a walks away. One day, I'm um, going to the show and I, I'm like, he's like, where's Rage at? I'm like, he remembers me. Yes, this is awesome. Because <laughs> Wagner yeah. had gotten out of Chaotic before I got there. Okay. So he wasn't there. So like all the veterans of the right. area I knew through Chaotic, he was the only one I'd only see sporadically. Yeah. So yeah. How about awesome. another, another veteran guy, Jose Perez? I only think I dealt with Jose Perez one or two times. Yeah. I think he called me Mr. Creepy because of the singlet I was wearing, which was fun. But the night we gave him a ride home, he was yeah. nice. He was yeah. great with us. I think that's the night he kept calling me it too. But yeah, he was always fun. Like yeah. he wasn't mean spirited. It was just right. I never dealt with them a lot. And sometimes like I was what, 17? You were young then, yeah. 16, 17, 18, 18, 18. and like I didn't know these guys yet. Yeah. I didn't understand because it was always just me and my dad. I didn't, too many buddies. So I didn't understand, like with Sonny. Right. He'd just mean, 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 mean. Then I was like, bro, I won't come around if you don't want me to. He goes, no, I like you. That's why I'm being this way. I was like, oh, so it took a little while to right. understand that. So like Jose would not be mean, but like not be so like open and great. Right, right. You know, and like I said, I only dealt with him like two or three times and he was good on the ride home. It just, I didn't know how to take most of them yet. Okay. How about uh, mischievous? Me either. <laughs> yeah, you teamed with her. Oh, oh, mischievous. Yeah, yeah. Mischie yeah, see, yeah I, I get it. Cheeves, yeah. I'm I horrible you're with no, pronunciations. No, no, I got you. I got you. Uh, fun. Uh, we were on tour Canada together, and the girl she was wrestling, we were the bad, we were the heels of the match. The girl she was wrestling only had like three or four matches. Yeah. And she had just had a implants put in. So one night I kicked her in them by mistake, and I thought I popped them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, Honky wanted me to cup her ear because the entire tour she kept talking about going to New York three matches into it. Uh, the guy she wrestled, Marco Estrada, we'll get to him hopefully, had a broken hand from playing soccer, so he couldn't wrestle. So they were like, we trust you that you could wrestle him for a couple of minutes and then they'll wrestle. So uh, I put a cow mask on a couple of times. Yeah. Uh, danced on some tables. Honky Tonk Man enjoyed it. And uh, that's all I did. Nice, she was fun nice. though. We had some fun, and because of her, I didn't get beers bought for me one night at the bar. Really? Yeah. Well, that bitch. Yeah, it was my fault. It is what it is. Luke Robinson. Luke Robinson, the finely tuned athletic machine. Yeah. Uh, when he came around, he was a Tony Atlas guy, so kind of butted heads a little bit in the beginning. Uh, but then grew to become buddies. We used to wrestle on a weekly show. I love him right now. I tell him that when I see him. Uh, we used to rock. I even said to him recently too, I said, hey, I really wish we could take a subway trip because at the show, it's a walking distance, so they'd get there and then me and him would walk to subway and hang right. out. Oh, you meant the shop. I was like, why do you want to go on a train with me? Yeah, that? yeah, no. He'd go get a sandwich because he's, you know, yeah, an yeah. athlete and I'm not. But yeah, we had a great time with him. I really enjoyed it. Now, now that's the Luke that was on Tough Enough, right? Yep. Yep. Which in my opinion, he should have won. Yep. Honestly, he really was the best worker out of them all. I always say it's because he had wrestling experience. That's why Probably, yeah. No, no doubt. I mean, you well, yeah. take a look at what they do now. They would much rather have a guy that they can teach how to wrestle exactly their way, 100%. Yep. Yep. So that's why it's it sucks because a lot of independent guys don't get shots mm -hmm. because they, they hire other guys. Look at Anthony Green. Yeah. Dude, that was unbelievable. I mean, here's a kid they signed. Put him on TV immediately. Yeah. He was on every week on 205 Live. So he was TV ready. Then they let him go. Mm -hmm. How do you let a guy that good go? I don't know. Right? Am I wrong to no, think I like that, you. guys? I hear you. What about Eric Atlas? 
Yes. I always had fun with Eric Atlas. Eric Atlas and me were roommates at one point in time. We busted through the wall just wrestling around multiple times. Uh, actually, we were just talking about it because when I went to the school this weekend, he was there and I sat in the car with him. But uh, we had differences of opinions about wrestling like you do. Yeah. You know, but that's, yeah. it is what it is. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like he, How about I, Davey Loomis? Oh, man, I always had fun with Davey Loomis. Davey Loomis came to Maine, and he just enjoyed his time with me. Yeah. He'd come up and he'd take a pump kick? Sure. That's why I love you. Yeah, bro, I don't care. Hit me with whatever you want. Right? Now, did, was that a shoot brother for real Eddie Loomis? Yeah. That was his yeah, real brother? Yeah, they were real okay. brothers. Yeah. yeah, real wow. shoot brothers. Yeah, I wrestled Eddie, too. Yeah. They are both always great. And then when I come down to NCW, they were always awesome to me, wanted to talk to me. They see me like in the crowd because it's like uh, one time I, uh, GA was wrestling and we were going to his house, me and my ex, and they seen us, they give you the high five, then everybody comes over to you after and then she's looking at you and you're like, well, they're all my friends. What do you think? They're not going to see me and not want right. to talk to you? <laughs> That's wild. Kellen Thomas. Uh, I always had fun with him. I never got to wrestle him. No. I never liked saying his name, and I told him, I was like, I feel like I'm going to butcher it, man. He's like, don't worry about it. I'm like, ah, I feel like I'm going <laughs> to. But I always wanted to wrestle him, and I think Dave kept telling me that me and him would probably have a really good match back in the day because our styles would be good. Nice. How about I, Chris Hamrick? Oh, man, nobody's beaten me more than that man has beaten yeah. me. Oh, every time he comes to Maine, he just whoops Did he my do his ass. Bumps? Did he do his flying out of the no, ring? No, we don't have him do that. Ass. No, when he comes to Maine to wrestle me, he he doesn't sell. Right. He just beats me up, which is fine. <laughs> it's, it is what it is. But he's a great guy. Like I right. always enjoy seeing him. It's right. just When I know I'm across the ring from him, I wonder, I go, did I mess up lately? Am I in trouble? How about a guy that's doing great things with ICW? Danny DeMonto. He's bringing it to Boston and everything. I only met Danny DeMonto one time in Chaotic. He was there for Kevin Matthews, wrestled like Pete Malloy. So we hung out there and we talked with Mike Hollow. And then he came to Maine and we wrestled in that six-way ladder match. And that's the only time I really wrestled him. But okay. we didn't talk too much because we were both heels, so we didn't really do much. Right. John Thornhill. Oh, Thorny. I love Thorny. Thorny's always a good time. You know, I, I always ask him, I go, can we have a, you know, can we ever hang out and not have Speedos? But I guess we'll have to someday. <laughs> Last one. JT Dunn. Uh, I have, I always hung out with JT Dunn, but I never hung out with him like outside of like a show. So I didn't. But he's always great to me. Right. I had to catch him one night because GA didn't, and I asked him beforehand, "Do you want me to help you?" Oh. He goes, "No, no, no, I got it, I got it." Then he flies over and I catch JT Dunn, and I go, "Thanks." Is that the firm days? Yeah, I was glad I was there because he just <laughs> G, GA was just like, "Oh, is that a man flying?" <laughs> Oh, okay. Just watching him. Yeah, yeah, just watching him fly towards me. Good thing I That's caught That's awesome. <clears throat> Mark, thanks for coming on. I thanks really appreciate it. Me. It's been a long time since Absolutely. I've seen you, too. I know. Dave, Dave, always. Dave, thanks. He's pretty much become my regular co-host. So, um, But, guys, thanks again, man. We're out. Peace. Hi, guys. I hope you're enjoying the show. Listen, I could use a little help to grow my YouTube channel. So if you could please like, share, and subscribe, that's most importantly, subscribe. Send me a direct message, and I'll give you a shout out here on the show. My YouTube channel is real simple. It's just my name, Leo Connors. Thanks in advance. Peace.